Hit it, Gary. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. <laughs> Can you guess what it is yet? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's so spinal tap. I love oh, it. Oh, it's awesome. Hi, everyone. It's James here from the Studio Rats. And I am joined today by my buddy, Gary Broman. Dr. Hey. Gary Broman. I'm terribly sorry. Yeah. Your Lordship. Um, Gary joined us on one of the live streams a little while ago and it was very successful. And quite frankly, we got talking about guitars, which is always dangerous. And I knew he had one of these, but Gary, <laughs> just tell us what you're currently holding and what I'm in absolute desire of. Okay, so this is a, I'm even gonna be specific about the year. So this is a 2016 Fender Custom Shop. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. It's, it's it is okay. Than, it's more than okay. Yes, yeah, Fender 2017 um, Fender Custom Shop Dave Gilmore signature strap. <gasps> the relic version. <gasps> Look at all of that. Look at that. It's funny because my kids go, why would you buy a guitar that is like, looks like it's going to, it should be thrown in a skip, you know, like this. Um, and the interesting thing, I guess, about, so I bought this guitar and, and had to actually keep it secret from my wife how much I paid for it. <laughs> And ironically, I've conf I fessed up to it recently. And, I t uh, and the reason I could fess up is because it's worth about three times the amount that I paid for it. Um, because, of course, those of you that know the story, the guitar, the original black strap, was auctioned off. Uh, In the, the charity over, auction, wasn't it? It's the yeah. most expensive guitar ever sold. $3.9 million. <gasps> and unbeknown to me, Fender then lost the rights to make it because it wasn't the Dave Gilmore Strat. It's owned by who knows. Some, owned probably owned someone in yeah. foreign climes and it never it will never see the light of day again, sadly. No, no, absolutely. And also the other thing which which added, I guess added some value was David Gilmore, we must be precise. We must be precise, uh, yes. David Gilmore um, has made a big deal about the fact that the relics are so good that he just went, well, I would imagine he's probably got a few of these. At home. A couple, yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but it's a, and, and actually part of many anything else, it's a great guitar. Um, it's a bit of a Frankenstein guitar. Those of you that know much more about guitars than I do know that this is a, a kind of an 80s, um, I think it's an 80s Japanese neck, actually. Well, this isn't, no. but it's, it's modeled after that. Yes. I mean, this guitar went through so many different uh, incarnations and, and you can see that uh, if you look at the back there, you can see this is black over probably a three-tone sunburst. Mm -hmm. um, he also had a, he converted into a guitar, he had a guitar synth pickup on yep. here, which is why there's this sort of aberration in here. Yep. The other thing, interestingly, you can change the pickup combinations. He can do that kind of Telecaster sort of type sound with um, neck and bridge pickup with a flick of a switch here. Oh, that's what that does. I've always wondered what, so yeah. it was a boost or a No, no, like, no, mm. so if you've got a sort of, um, you can probably hear it. Oh, it's quite it's very different. Yeah. yeah, particularly with the sort. Oh, we'll come to that. We'll come to that. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to play that bit. Oh, yeah. uh, I mean, it is a guitar that I have wanted to own since. The, I mean, they first yeah. probably since about this Sorry era for that mixing test. <laughs> mm. yeah. mm. That's probably worth more. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a thing of beauty. I mean, yeah. So it's a, it's. A, it is actually a great guitar. And the good thing is, because it's a relic, you don't need to worry quite so much about, you know, dropping it or, you know, scratching it or anything it like that. It is a this. thing of absolute beauty. Yeah. At this point, I just have to say, gimme, gimme. <laughs> yeah. The only, actually, the only thing that's weird, and obviously this is a taste thing, which David Gilmour, you know, for him, the, the, the short whammy um, bar doesn't really suit me. And actually, Callahan. Shouldn't be promoting brands here, should I? But Callahan make a replacement bar for this because actually it isn't a standard thread. Right. Okay. Hence you see all this PTF tape around the yes, thing. Yes. To try yeah. and to try and fatten it out. But go on, James. Oh man. Go on. Oh, the daft thing is, having played this a little bit before we sort of hit record, it plays so beautifully. I mean, even before we start going. Well, actually, there it's there, isn't it? It's it never gets old, does it? Well, actually, it does. What you then do is, reaching for my 11 rack with all my Pink Floyd presets in, you go... Oh, it's, 
it's so easy to play. It's so lovely. And actually, it was really nice for me today seeing someone else play it. And I was thinking, what a great guitar. It's like, <laughs> it, it looks great. It's and, such a and I think the guitar. other the other thing with this guitar, as I've said to you, actually, this is the guitar that I also play them. At. It's not. I see so many of these guitars. People just buy them as you know, and then mm. put them in a case. Yeah, I just cannot see the point. Yeah. There you go. This video is going to get shut down so fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else have we got? Um, yeah. The obvious one for this guitar, and I, even if you flick it into Telecaster mode, it becomes slightly more appropriate to go. Yeah. Even though he played that on a Telecaster. I know, but I did, but flick, I did flick the switch. Oh, you did. You did <laughs> flick the switch. You're right. You're oh, right. it's it's awesome. It's yeah. just an absolutely beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find something. That... But the daft thing is, obviously, it is a strap. Yeah. Therefore, it does... So the rest of that song goes, or the rest of that tune goes, knows that's why I'm stopping there. Um, oh, I could play this thing for absolutely ever. Let me find... Also, the, the strap as well, which doesn't come with the guitar, actually. Um, I managed to source the original... Oh, yes, of course. The leather. Yeah. Good if you're getting old, actually. Not quite the right, not the right guitar or the right player, but... The fact that it's such a an amazing guitar to play pretty much any yeah well I think that was originally from the Australia yeah that was I mean if you did it's got actually the interesting thing with this guitar is it's got because I've got other strats. It's got a lot of poke to it as well. That's a Seymour Duncan in the bridge. Right, in that one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's got quite a lot of poke to it. Oh, it's just it's just ace. I could play this thing all day. And probably will. I'm trying to think of anything else that Yeah, I mean, even though even though it doesn't have the same kind of uh prestige, the relic no caster I've got is the or sorry, the th sorry, not the no caster. That's a different guitar. <laughs> Thin line that mm -hmm. I have. That is also a great guitar. We should do a, a video where we have those two to compare. It'll be interesting, actually, your thin line and mine. The, yeah. You know, the, the, the Japanese, mm -hmm. I think it's Japanese, reissue, yeah. and, and your one is the original. Do you know what? They're staggeringly good. You know those Squires? There's a... We can't be promoting them, but there's one I picked up recently, and I think it was about £349, and I could not believe how good it was. Yes. Yeah. It was that good. I'm going to play one more riff on this, because, I mean, it, it's, yeah. it's that kind of... <laughs>
it's got that thing that good strats have. It's kind of an opening type sound, like a, yeah. all every note you play, especially up here in the um, neck position, yeah. has got a kind of open tone to it, which I mm. really like, and it's really hard to find that kind of. We could we could have another spinal tap moment here, couldn't we? With the sustain that it goes yeah. on for years, you know. Not quite loud enough. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, thank you so much Pleasure. for bringing this over, man. Um, uh, uh, mm. What can I swap for it? Uh, <laughs> a, a small child? Kidney? <laughs> <laughs> Karma police. Oh, careful. There we go. Um, thanks to Gary for bringing this baby over. Mm. Um, much more playing will be done, I'm sure. Um, but for now, my name's James Ivey from the Studio Rats, and we will see you again very soon.